If you're looking for crypto that could make the Web3 experience super easy for anyone, whether you're a hardcore crypto enthusiast or completely new to the game, then Suku might just be what you need to hear about today. Plus, I really need to share an update about the charts and what the price has to say. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I've been specializing in new technologies, cryptos, stocks, and divergence trading strategies for the last 10 years. Today, we're gonna dive into Suku, breaking down what this project is all about and why you should care. And we'll be digging into the charts to see how you can potentially make the most of its price action. So stick around and if you like my video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to get regular updates. All right, let's jump right in. Suku is a cryptocurrency on the Ethereum network and its whole purpose is to make supply chains more transparent using blockchain. It's also designed to be super friendly, especially for people who are not already deep into crypto. They've built things like the Suku wallet, which lets you send and receive digital asset instantly. And even if the person you're sending to doesn't have a wallet set up yet. That's pretty cool. Then there is the Suku protocol, which gives every social media account a fully functional Web3 wallet. So imagine you're scrolling through your favorite social platform and boom, you're suddenly ready to dive into Web3 without even lifting a finger. This project is all about bringing Web3 to regular people, not just crypto nerds. From NFTs to DeFi, Suku is building tools that could make Web3 as easy as using your favorite applications. Now, before we dive into the price trends, let's talk numbers. As of today, Suku has a market cap of about $11 million with 178 million tokens in circulation. It's worth noting that the typical hold time for Suku is around 11 days, which is interesting because it suggests that people are trading it rather actively. Here's the part that might catch your attention. It certainly catches mine. Suku's all-time high was about $1.58, but today it's sitting around 6 cents. So if you think it's possible that Suku goes back to its glory days, then we could be talking about a potential of 26 times the price of today. Now, I'm not saying that it's guaranteed, but that's kind of a potential that makes Suku a very intriguing play if you're looking for something with real upside. All right, let's take a look at what's new in the price trends. So we're looking at the weekly candle chart for Suku right now, and you'll notice that I've left some of the arrows and drawings from my previous analysis up on the screen. This way you can follow along with what we've covered in past videos and see how it compares to where we are right now. Now, we have a couple of key things I want to point out. First, we've got a reversal divergence forming here, but it has not really played out just yet. To get a better sense of what's going on, I'm going to zoom into a smaller time frame specifically the daily candle chart. Just to clarify, each of these tiny candles you see here represents a full day of price movement. Now, on our daily candle chart, there are two key divergences here that have really influenced the recent price action. The first one is a hidden bearish divergence, which you'll see marked in red, and the other is that reversal divergence we just talked about in green. But let's focus on the red one first. This hidden divergence was working behind the scenes for a while, and although it eventually played out, it took a bit longer than expected to fully materialize. As you can see, the price target was actually reached about a month later than we initially anticipated. That tells us that 
it is possible sometimes to see a delay in Suku charts between the predictions and the price action. Now that we've gone over the red divergence, let's turn our attention back to the green reversal divergence on the chart. As you can see, this one hasn't really taken off yet. The reason for that appears to be simple, it wasn't quite ready to play out. Because the previous divergence was still unfolding, we had to wait for that one to wrap up. During that time, the green divergence kept stretching out, forming a bigger pattern. So while it's still active, it's now much longer and more delayed. Based on this, we're looking at the potential for the price to hit around 14 cents, which is more than double where it is today, likely before January 2025. And if you Take a look, you'll notice the price is, at least for now, sticking to that upward trajectory. Okay guys, that's all that I have for now. So I want you to remember that this is crypto and you always need to be extra cautious when we talk about crypto. Even what I say, don't take it as facts. Always do your own research. I can make mistakes and my trading strategies are never guaranteed. So always also have a great risk management plan. You're welcome to comment if you see something I've missed or if you disagree or if you agree with my predictions. Your feedback is always welcome. Let me know also if you want me to dive into a specific crypto for you. I'll be happy to do so. If you find this video helpful, like, share and subscribe to get regular updates. Until next time, Keep an eye on the trends, stay curious, and let's navigate these crypto waves together.